something that I thought would never happen to me has happened. I ended up in a mental home without the possibility of not getting out. Listen as I explain my story. The sun shined down bright and early that morning, and I usually try to do my morning routines before mom calls for breakfast. She hate for us to be late. Richard Wells! Richard Wells Jr. You don't get your behinds down here. Coming, Mom! Dog in my goddamn yard again. Go ahead to bed, son. I'm gonna handle your ass when I get back out here. I want to see you outside. No problem, my butter -o. Who killed my dog? And how the hell should I know? Maybe he ate some of his own shit and croaked. He's trying to be funny. Oh, I got something for that ass. Oh, hold up. Yeah. My wife in the hospital. You trying to stab me over a damn dog? Yeah, I'm good. Talking all this shit. That's what your ass get, punk ass bitch. You shot me. Damn. 
Junior. Remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Can you afford an attorney? One will be appointed to you. You understand these rights? This Honorable Court of the City of Memphis is open for business pursuant to adjournment. The Honorable Judge Stanley J. Parker presiding. You may be seated. Turn off all cell phones, please. We know talking while court is in session. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Madam Clerk, what's the next case? Stagerton State v. Richard Wells Stanger. Richard Wells. to meet Mrs. Wellington. She's the president and chairman of the home. Hello, little boy. How are you? Me, Dave. How are you? Sit in that seat and don't you move. Um, I'll be back to get you in about 30 minutes, okay? Um, she just needs a little more information from you, so you'll be okay. You better make that an hour. Okay, an hour. What is your name, boy, and how old are you? Boy, are you paying attention to me, or do I need to get in your face? Yes, Mr. Robinson, I'm, I'm paying attention. Well, why are you staring into that picture? I have rules here, you know. Who is your father? 
I know what happened. Your dad shot that man on purpose. Your father knew it was not right to cheat with that man's wife and then kill him. I think you got it all confused. My dad didn't cheat with that man's wife. He shot him because that dog kept coming in their yard. And why is it even concerning you? Like, who are you? Why you, you little run? I'll slap you off the couch. Yes. Is everything okay in there? Yes, it is. Can I come in? No, I'm not finished with him. Just wait at the door. I'm just finishing up. I'll be watching you. All right, go ahead and go. So you better watch it. Hey guys. Hey, Richard. This is Michael. So Michael. This is Tony. Hey, sorry for bumping here with you. You guys get acquainted. I'll be in here if you need me. Right? Yeah, you guys keep up to me. Miss Vaughn thinks I think that way. The reason why she keeps bothering me is because her maiden name was there before, before she got married a year ago. So what are you showing me right now? Uh, like, oh. I think you gotta watch yourself for her because she's looking for revenge. So Mr. Dad, so my dad killed hers? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how's that even concerning me? I mean, I didn't kill her son. No, but you gotta watch yourself for her. Somebody's missing you. 
Hey, where's Tony at? I don't know, man. He's usually here before us. Hey! I think I saw him downstairs talking to Miss Lil just before I came to the room. Talking to Miss Lil for what? Hey, so that's what we saw downstairs? Yeah, I think so. Man, he heard a lot of things. What's up, y'all? Hey, what's up, Tony? Are you kind of late or something? Oh, no, I Man, what's really going on, man? Oh, uh, Richard, Richard, chill, chill. You want to make things worse than they already are. Hey, what's going on right here? There's nothing to be worried about, Michael. Let's just go to bed. All right. Hey, my bad, Tony, man. I'm just getting really frustrated lately, man. It's okay. You know, hey, you're right. Let's go to bed. Yes. Man, I wish they had more beds around here, guys. Cops out there. I can, I can tell you about it later, though. I
Whoa, hey, don't, don't shoot. Why are you outside of my restaurant? Dodgeman? Richard? Richard! I've been looking for you. Wait, why? Richard, I own this restaurant right here. So look, just come in, and I can explain everything to you. And you, you definitely need to explain some things to me. open yet. I just came in early to do some work. I'm glad I did. So I want to know what's going on with you. I mean, I heard about Mrs. Wellington and everything, and I just, I was confused because you just ran off into the night. Angela, I had to protect myself, and not everybody thinks I'm a killer. Everybody except me. I'm trying to stay, stay your girl, but to see you leave, he's gonna rock my world, every day, he's getting hard, because I don't want you to bruise my heart, you see some things, don't have to change, because I don't So it's like that? Be the only one for me. Yeah, I, guess, uh, I can go with you. I can help you. I know well, I even see you again, Richard? Ain't always gonna be what they say. Cause every time I leave, I think about what they say. Cause every time I leave, I think about what they say. Cause every time I leave, I think about what they say. And I know it's gonna be Now we got a damn peeping tongue. Well, you know what? Here. Since you already know what's going on, we'll give you a call too. And when you give me a call, you hear me. Okay? Got that? Man, I wouldn't tell you nothing. Even if I did. Let me tell you something, boy. I don't play with other people's children. And you better start respecting me every fucking time you see me around here because you're gonna be seeing a lot of me from now on. You understand me? And if you hear or see anything about that goddamn Richard, you better give me a call. You understand me, boy? Do you understand me? Do I make myself clear? And if you ever 
ever see Richard around here anywhere. If you don't call me, I'm coming back to get your ass. Do you understand me? I can't hear you. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh. Dog for that stale ass donut. Sorry, people. Just misunderstand you. Please. Enjoy your meal, please. Just. Anybody home? Shit. Seems like every channel I turn to, they talking about me. Yep. I like this. Y'all 
like this. Killing him myself, man. <laughs> See, I told you he was cool, right? Yeah, that's the man. Look, guys, I'm gonna go to the back and get settled, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Hey, you right, want to choose the channels, man? Sure, sure. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, man. Them right, coppers, man. I swear they keep talking about trying to give me a fair trial or whatever, but yeah. if they really thought I was innocent, they'd be somewhere else eating some donuts, man. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, so. What's been going on? I've been seeing you on TV, man. People been talking about you at the restaurant, man. People be working, they be talking about you. Man, what's been going on? I really don't like talking about this, but I'm going to tell you since you're trying to help me, man. Thanks. Yeah, way. no problem. Well, it all started when my dad killed our neighbor. And that's where, when everything started going bad yeah. a couple years back. And then, you know, just came back. And my old neighbor, he was trying to turn me in. Really? Yeah. Oh, you so. Know, got a little, so, man, he can't trust nobody. Man, that's crazy. But what's up with you, man? You work? Oh, yeah, I work with Angela. You know, I'm a chef, you know, cooking it up in the back. Real nice. Just, I just want to let you know, I truly appreciate you helping me out. What yeah, you guys in here talking about? Got your serious faces on? Lighten up. No, we're just getting to know each other, you know. Hey, you look good in that dress, or... Thank you. It's just something I sit around in. Yeah. yeah. What is this on TV? Who got this on? You got the remote, is that you? I mean, Calvin told me this was the challenge. Shh, shh. I paid a part. <laughs> Nobody watches this, Calvin. Why is Y'all don't watch this? this? No. You Man, watch I watch this? this every day I get home from work. What? This is how I get away from people. This is kind of corny, hey, don't you think? Day. It was pretty hard. I mean, I had to fire a girl, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. <laughs> so how was work today? How was work today? Uh, um, you remember the girl I hired last week? Yeah. I fired her. Why? Yeah, she tried to get smart. It was a lot of complaints about her from customers. Yeah, because I definitely because she came in back and she was very rude and she. Yeah, was, you, she you was rude the whole time. Was, yeah, I mean, if you're a boss, you just you know. You're you know. Yeah. As a woman, got to stand up. Yeah. So, Angela, this is a pretty big house you got. Um, which was <coughs> Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> something wrong? Sorry, y'all. You getting anything to drink, Angela? Yeah, I mean, I can get you right something to drink. Wait, hold on, yeah. hold on. Um, I can get you that. No. Which um, one? no. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. Do you think you can get it, please? I'm on every Yeah, guys, I can, I can get the drinks. Cool, cool. Great. <coughs> Not me. Hey, Angela, can you give me some water, too? I got juice. Orange juice? Oh, okay, cool. All right, guys. Oh, you look great. Yeah, it's a little more than juice. Awesome. This is good. Thank you, Angela. No problem. Taste it. Let's see. It's great. I did a Thank little bartending in school myself, so really mix nice. a little something. You um, can't take it, Richard? Pass me that. We're not watching this. Why not? Uh, okay, okay, look. This is great. No, if you guys want to sit and watch this, that's fine. And I'm just going to go to bed. You guys can sit together. Well, you know, I'm kind of, you know, kind of tired to <sighs> get off work. Well, I can show you your bedroom. You just follow me. All right, cool. Awesome. Hey, nice to meet you, man, today, man. Hey, thanks for helping me out, man. No problem. We're going to get that done, man. Come on, come on. So, Calvin. I'm gonna put you in this bedroom right here. It's okay, got a cool. bed. Oh yeah, hey Angela. Um, yeah. I'll be in there in a little bit. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, Kevin. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Yeah, I'll see you in the morning, man. I probably did that. She feels sorry for him.
scared me. Man, what's taking them so long? Man, yeah. Right now. Sleep with all that noise y'all make with that bed. Dang, man. Did that really bother you? Well, if it did, I'm sorry, man. Oh, no need to tell me you're sorry. Because I just called the folks on you, and they'll be back here to lock you up any minute now. You saw a little asshole, man. I told Angela you could be trusted. Oh, y'all already been speaking about me. Well, me had to be screwing my girl when I had to call the folks on you. See? You're gonna be a problem around here, man. A problem? And I don't really like problems, so I'm gonna have to get rid of you, man. Get rid of me? Yeah. Man, you must be crazy. Just like your dad. Like they say, one crazy, all crazy. MPD, anyone home? What did you do, Richard? I'm so sorry. I'm doing what What's going on here? I need your help. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I swear I should have never got you involved in Angela. this. Angela. I should have never Ms. got Dots. you involved. Miss Dots, Miss Dots, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. How is it okay? He's dead. He's going to be okay. We're going to get him. Don't worry He's about dead. Him. Okay. Are you hearing me? He's going to be okay. Just tell us where he is. You know where Richard is? I don't know. I swear I don't know. He was Officer here. Hodges, look, I need you to set up a room around the whole neighborhood and uh, put out an APB on Richard Wells. Yes, Do it right now. Let's go. I got you, Jesus. It's going to be okay. Come on. Come with me. Come with me for a minute. Come on. Come on, Mr. Hudson. Come on. You got to come no. with me. Come on. He'll be okay. Come on. Everything's no. going to be all right. You got to come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. considering the position that you're in. I understand. It's just that I've been here for a few years. And I feel like I've been doing better. Don't you think so? Well, yes and no, Richard. See, you've been going through a lot of things. Believe me, I know. I've been here with you half the time when you were going through those things. But it's my responsibility to make an assessment of the right time for you to get out of here. And now... Well, it's just not the right time. Richard, right now you've been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. What's that? Well, it's an anxiety disorder, and it's triggered by a specific or repeated life-threatening traumatic event, such as an attack. A prime example would be when you witnessed your father shoot his neighbor. See, that just keeps rolling around in your head, and it won't be fixed until you receive treatment. Look. I know everything I did in the past was wrong. Like with James, I even tried to restrain from attacking him. But you know, that didn't work. And I have no witnesses to tell, to tell you guys what I feel, what I went through. And it's just so hard when nobody can understand Richard, you. Richard, just let it go. It's over now. You don't have to explain it to me, I understand. But what I need you to understand is that this is the best place for you right now. And I'm going to take care of you. Now, didn't I do it before? Yeah, you did. I trust you. 
It's just, you know, it's so hard when one person believes you and the rest of the world doesn't. I got these clothes. Yeah, man, you got 
just gotta get better, man. You shooting like you ain't never shot before in your life. What's wrong with you, man? You concentrate. Concentrate. That boy shot focused. 12 times and hit three targets. He, he, ain't, 12. he, he ain't focusing. He, he got something on his mind. I don't know what it is. Sad. You gotta get better. Hey, Rich. Hey, hey, Rich. Hey, come, come here, son. Catch him, catch him. Oh. What the? Girl, that goes your good man right from the police. Hey, wait. Call me. Call me. Where you go? Where you go? I don't know what she's doing, but I can't find it. Hey, Richard. And I don't know how the boy disappeared so fast. Look, don't, if y'all don't see him, 
With your own eyes, you don't know. call me back no more, man. You ask me a question, sir. Right. I'm going home, man. Y'all have a good day. As a matter of fact, you guys get back to work. Get back to your regular duties. Let's go. All right, Let's go. Thank you for serving the good people. You know, just thank you, sir. Don't send him back over here. Thank you. Food. I'm out here chasing your ass.
next. What's your name? Larry. <laughs> I mean, Richard. Oh, hi, Richard. My name is Jocelyn. Hey, Jocelyn. You look tired. You want to get some rest. Yeah, I haven't eaten anything. There's a store right over there. You ought to get you something to eat. Yeah. I wish I had money. Well, here, you can have a wine. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> so I'll pay you back. Hey, right, don't worry about it. As soon as my mom calls from out of the store, she's going to give me some more. Well, Jocelyn, thanks for this dollar. Good to meet you. Well, I gotta get going now. Oh, 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 hey, Jill! Ah, ah, ah! Hey, my head is shot! Hush! Be quiet! Don't move! Hey, Jill, I'm not on it! Yes, this is Detective Johnson in New Jersey. May I please speak to Chief Lemmings? Yes, somebody today, please. Yes, this is Detective Johnson in New Jersey. And a yes, this is true. But before I hand them over to you, I need you to correct these papers for me. Let me ask you something. Do you know what you're doing? Hold your horses, son. First, I would need to fax these papers over to you so they can be signed. May I have your fax number? No, that'll be all. I'll call you when I get these papers back. You managed to build up a high body count, haven't you, son? Shoot, you looking at me like I'm next. Don't even think about it. I'll put a bull in you so quick. Dangerous man. We shouldn't be do doing this type of profiling. Can I do a little bit of eye candy? Hell, most of the assholes in here look like the shit that comes out of them. <laughs> now, if I said that to any prisoner, I'd be all over the morning news. Well, then it's a good thing I got a cool partner like you who won't turn me in then, huh? <laughs> hey, you ain't got that prisoner locked in yet. I'm just enjoying our last moments together. <laughs> just making sure this young man was stable. Well, you seen his rap sheet. You know he ain't stable. Gonna get enough playing with fire. Here goes the papers. Make sure he gets back to Chief Fleming immediately. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma
Mr. Wells, you have a visitor, sir. This is all I need to make me want to live life again. Yeah. Look forward to the future, right? Yeah. Well, you, you and Angela. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who's yeah. Angela? Well, Mom, you've been gone for a minute. Yeah. Angela's my girl. And yeah. I have a surprise for you, too. Really? Yeah, definitely. Excuse me. Richard, I'm going to have to get you to wrap it up. Run out of visiting time. All right. Mommy, it was so great to see you again. You too. Here, come here. I miss you. Look, I will be back. I promise. I'm going to tell you way more about it when you get back. All right? Okay, okay. I'll get my stuff. Oh, honey. I love you. All right, Mom. I love you, too. I'll be back again. Steph, please. Oh, that's your mom, huh? Yeah, that's my mom. Nice. <laughs> yeah. But it's crazy. I thought she had died. Well, good crazy. thing she had. Definitely. Hey, don't be hitting on my mom now. Hey, right? I'm not hitting on your mom, man. Right, for sure. Well, I'm going to get back to my writing now. All right, well, let me know if you need anything. Definitely. Who was that? How you doing today, sir? Yeah, good, good, good. Hey, could you take me to uh, Hot Wheels over on Tuesday? Yes, come in. Yes, come in. Thank you. I appreciate it. Excuse me, sir. I was here first, so you're going to have to wait. 
asshole. Man, let me tell you something. I don't know who you are or who you think you are, but I'm MPD. And so? this is an emergency. So just let me just let me go, okay? I don't give a damn if you was TLC. I'm an MBW and this here's an emergency. And first of all, I don't even know what an MPD stands for, and I really don't care. And second of all, you Second, second, don't look, don't make me get an ass with you. MPD stands for Memphis Police Department, smart person. Okay? And what the hell is a MBW anyway? A mad black woman. Now, like I said, second of all, I don't care about who you are and what your little toys do. This here is Somerville, not Covington or Memphis. So you are really out of your jurisdiction. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Ma'am, I gotta take you to your destination. So, after I get through with her, I gotta take you wherever you want to go. If I hear any other noise, believe me, I gotta get you out of my taxi. Both of you. Yeah. And you have to walk. Thank you, sir, for the ride. And you over there, you really need to get your city together. Thank you for the ride, sir. You're welcome, ma'am. And you over there, you really need to get your cities right. Rules are much different over here in Somerville. Better go get you a donut or something. Yeah, you have a nice day. Enjoy the rest of your month. You know, man, you cannot be the MBW if I wear you and stay to make myself look like, you know, fool. I have a just, you know, keep keep quiet and stay quiet. Man, I don't know what the hell happened. You know, I just told her I had an emergency. And she started flipping off the wall. What's going your emergency? ham on me. What's your emergency anyway? Well, I'm on this investigation. I'm trying to catch this kid, Richard Wells. Oh, snap. The killing guy? You try to catch him? Hmm. Yep, that's him. But. We don't get going. I'm never gonna catch him sitting around here. Let's go. Oh, you told me you're going where? Oh, uh, oh, okay. You're going to the Holiday Inn. Oh, okay. I got you. Holiday. Inn. All right. I got you. Well, let's go. What are you sitting around here for? What's the matter with you? Did you get done last night or something? Look. Okay, sir. Don't you know that you don't ask grown people about their personal business? The only way you can get something like that is if I let you in. So if I don't let you in on anything like that, you don't ask me. My fault, Dad. My fault, Dad. So, okay, so you want me to take you to the for something? The only thing that I want you to do is get me to my destination and get me there before tomorrow. All if right. you can. Okay. Well, let's go. All right, man. I That's sure right. appreciate okay. it. Thank you. All right, let's... Thank you. Chief Fleming, what is it now? Do what? Some bad news. You're breaking up. I can't hear you. Say that again. Yeah. Wait, hold, 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 hold on. What, what, what do you mean he's not? He's not, I don't understand. What do you mean he's not? You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Get, escape? Escape where? I mean, how, how, how in the hell could he escape? What, what's going on? One thing is another. Look, here's what I want you to do. I want you to call Covington. Call, yeah. Mm -hmm. Call Covington Police. Tell them that I'm on my way. Let them know that I'm in Little Rock. I just tell them I accidentally got on the wrong bus. 
Right. Let them know that I'm on my way and I'll be there the first thing in the morning. What? How fast he moved? Don't give me that bullshit, man. He can move fast as he wanted, but this time he's going to move right into my hands. Just let them know what I said and I'll be on my way. All right, thank you. So tell me, what do you know about the escape in which it was? Well, things just got out of hand, but now we have everything under control, and just what we need for the public to do is just to go home and remain safe and essentially just clear the scene, and we don't have any more information of it. Well, this is all the information we have for now. You are reporting live with Tiffany Sutter with News WRIPT. Yeah, what is it now? Hi. I know you're busy trying to catch the infamous Richard Wales, but there's something wrong. Something I need to talk to you about now. What is it, Diana? What is it, Diana? Look, I don't have time for this now. There's nothing I can do about your issues from here anyway. I'll talk to you later. Baby, I'm not feeling well. My chest. My chest has been hurting. Sam? Are you there? Sam! How can I help you? Let me help you. Uh, Better make it to you. Excuse me, sir. Don't I know you from somewhere? You know me? Yeah, I know you from somewhere. I don't play that gay shit. You don't know me from nowhere. No. You could have fooled me with them tight ass pants you got on. But, you know that police chief that I seen on the news that been chasing this killer kid out around. You heard about me all the way down here? Matter of fact, we did. Since you're famous, can I get your autograph? My autograph? Yeah. Oh. Good morning, bro. By the way, where you from anyway? Well, from up north. Up north? Up north where? As a matter of fact, from Arlington, Tennessee. Arlington? Yeah. Arlington, Tennessee. Arlington, Tennessee, man. That's my hometown. You may just have your first best friend, man. Hey, man, what are you doing? You investigate me or something? No. Check this out. I got stuck out here in a little room, okay? I was supposed to be going to cover him, but I jumped on the wrong bus. What I need you to do, if it's okay with you, see if I can catch a ride back with you. I got some people waiting for me back home. So how long are you gonna be here? Man, I mean, actually I'm really leaving in the morning. In the morning? Yeah, I'm leaving. Okay, well that's, that's, that's good. Can you come by, and, come by and pick me up? Well, I mean, I can do that, but Chief, you know, that'll be 60 bucks. 60 bucks? Yeah, man, you practically live next door to me. I mean, think about it, Chief. I might not never see you again. That'll be your way of paying me back. All right. That's a deal? All right, yeah. Yo, yeah. I see you took my advice. What's that? Got out them tight ass jeans you was wearing. <laughs> you gonna learn. You gonna learn. Take it easy, man. Officer Besto, you know I got Chief Fleming's coming today from the MPD. All right. Oh, I spoke him up. There he is right there. Obviously better than you at this point. <laughs> Nah, that was supposed to be a joke. Have a seat, man. Can I get you anything? Uh, coffee? Donuts? Nah, I, I, I'm okay. You can call me Sam. 
All right, Sam, uh, you can call me Anthony. Uh, now, as far as this Richard thing goes, uh, right now he's currently here in Covington. But don't you think you should probably get some rest after that long journey? Hold on, hold on. Is that a guarantee that he's here in Covington? That is a guarantee. Actually, one of my men spotted him last night over off uh, 51. Yeah. Okay, all right. You know what? I'll, I'll get some rest once these guys catch him, man. I've been chasing him for too damn long to go out and just rest now. I guess you've been telling yourself that for years now, huh? <laughs> Uh, now, as far as this goes, where are we currently on the Richard thing? Let me tell you something. Here's the plan. This Richard guy. Okay. He always escaped by train, automobile, some type of transportation. So we definitely gonna have to get those areas covered. Okay. Um, anything that has to do with transportation, we need to get that covered because. Um, okay. He, he, he's 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 pretty tricky. Another thing, if you and your man, either one of you guys spot him, you can't run up on him. You got to take your time. Okay. Just walk up to him as if you don't even know who he is. Trust me, if he recognizes you being somebody other than you're supposed to be, yeah. he's gone. He's always gone. This is the way he is. Okay. So what you got to do is you got to walk up on him, take your time, and approach him, and catch him like that. Okay. And look to you. If you can, I know this is your town. Uh, let me head this investigation up. I can I do that for you, Chief. I can do it. I can do it. Uh, let me tell you this, though. No matter what you do, make sure you cover your ass. Okay. All right. Uh, um, sounds good to me. But look, I am kind of tired. I was just wondering if you had an extra room. Yeah, you seem as if you're <laughs> about to pass out over here. Um, I have family in for the week, but you can go with Besto here. Take the best out. You can show Chief Flemings around. Be happy to. Uh, how's your house, Chief? It was good talking with you. Come on, let's get started. Hey, thanks again. No problem. We'll get together later on that. All right, Chief. You take it easy. Have a good one. Take care of some stuff in the back. Why don't you just make yourself at home? And I'll be back in just a minute. All right, just appreciate it. Oh. Officer, I need you to get your men and cover 51 and Shelby. That's pretty much all I need from you guys right now. So we can go out here and get this thing taken care of. Sounds like a plan? Let's get it. Sounds like a plan. So I sure appreciate Good it. Good to meet you. Thanks, Thanks. My name is Chief Garrett. This is Chief Fleming. We'd like to know, have you seen this man before? Could you wait here for a minute? That guy passed by me this morning. Okay. Gentlemen, that guy checked in last night, but he checked out. One of my employees said he walked down the street to, um, uh, what's that place called? Uh, the sub the sandwich place down the street. Okay. He said he wanted a sub sandwich. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, look, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave you one of my business cards. If you hear from him and you see him, he comes back in here, just give him a call. My cell number's on there. Call me at any time. I really do appreciate it, okay? Okay. Thank you. You have a nice day.
Yes, this is Chief Lennon. Well, how are you doing, Dr. Susan? Okay. Is everything okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, thanks for calling. Appreciate it. I need you guys to do something, man. I got an emergency back in the office. Gotta get back, man. No problem. Chief Garrett, myself, can handle it. Till you get back here, come on, I'll get you home. Yeah. Um, I know it's not you guys' business. Um, it's my wife, man. I gotta get back to you as soon as possible. Sugar boy, didn't you hear my friend just said? Why don't y'all leave him alone, though? Who am I? You know who I am? You know who I am, bro? No. What are you, a tape recorder or something? Because I could have sworn I just heard him say something. Now tell me, who are you? Richard Wells. So, a killer boy? No, I kill you, boy! Get off of him!
time ago. How you doing, ma'am? I'm doing fine here, but you better get off that property before I... Hold on, hold on, ma'am. Listen, I can understand your concern. I'm Chief Fleming of the Memphis Police Department. How you doing today? Well, why is you snooping around here like you's the murderer or something? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Well, go right ahead, because you know what they say about me around here. Eyes, nose, and Betsy, and I sees everything that goes on around here. Believe me, I don't miss a thing. Now, what do you just want to know? Well, what I want to know is, do you know what went on across the street over here a few years ago? I sure does seem it plain as daylight. Well, is there anywhere we can uh, sit down and talk? Sure. Come right on into my little house of happiness. Okay, we sit out here. I mean, we can sit out here and talk. Oh, sure. That's okay. With have us. a seat there. Have a seat. Now, can I get you something to drink, son? Oh, no, no, thank you. I, I um, I had me something this morning before I left work. Oh. And um, I'm, I'm just fine, but I do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get right down to business. Um, okay. Is it all right if I record you while we have this conversation? No, don't mind. You sure it's all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's sit this way. Doing a follow up investigation on uh, Richard Wales' murder, and I'm here with uh, Miss Betsy, and I'm making sure that I have permission from her to uh, record her. And I just want to make sure that we're on the same level. Uh, Miss Betsy, is it okay for me to record you while you have this conversation? Yes, it's okay. I don't mind at all. Go right ahead. All right, she gave me to go ahead, mm -hmm. so uh, we're going to let her talk. And, uh, Ms. Betsy, could you tell me everything that you remember about this incident? Well, now, this is what happened. Now, now this Richard fellow, yes, he was walking to his own home. Mm -hmm. And this other boy, James, was walking towards him and questioned him. Now, now I couldn't hear what they saying. I, I don't know what they said because I couldn't hear. Yes, but I did see mouth movement and I of a sudden, James put Richard in his face. Now, I saw Richard. He fell to the ground, holding his face, and he quickly jumped up and he ran around to the back to that garage around there. And that James boy, he went in after him. Now, now I saw Richard hiding in the garage, but then Richard came out with a big old stick, and he was hitting that James. I mean, he hit him millions of times. And he did that for a spell. But then he stopped. And that's when I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I called you police boys. Yes, yes I did. did. And if y'all had got here sooner, you would have caught him red-handed. Yes, but that Richard, honey, he ran off into the night. I mean, he ran and he ran. And I ain't seen him no more. Mm -mm. Except on the news. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that all you have on the news? Well, yes, right now it is, but if he wants to know more, I sure can let you know later. Okay, well, this concludes this interview with Miss Betsy, and this is Chief Fleming signing out. All right, Miss Betsy. Now, you sure you don't want to stay a while? Oh, no, thank you. I'm, I'm having dumplings. That's fine. I, I really don't. I really can't, but uh, Get I want to Oh, uh, no, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And I just want you to know if you have any problems or any questions about anything, you feel free to give me a call back to the station. I'll show sure will let you know. Okay. Well, take care of yourself, and I'll I do appreciate that. Thank you. I, and you left your number? I did. Okay. All right. You have a nice day. You're going to be there in a minute? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. You have a nice day, ma'am. I'm going to call you here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. You want me to add them pants? Oh, bye, ma'am. Yes, I am. Saw my dad. How he?
talk to Chief. I talked to Chief Livingston tonight. What was it about? He said that if you plead insanity, that the worst you, you could get is a mental institution. So you think I'm crazy? No. The more the reason to do it. Angela, what? Just calm down. You gotta trust me on this. Turn myself in? After all this time? Turn yourself in and plead insanity and insane, everything will be okay. I mean, the least you're going to do is a uh, few years in a mental institution. They're not going to put you in prison or anything like that. Just trust them, Richard. Trust me, everything's going to be okay. So how, how long? How long am I, am I looking at? Like I said, Richard, I can't guarantee you no jail time, but what I can guarantee you is everything will be okay. Trust me on this one. Angela, can you just tell them I need to call the precinct? Yeah. Where, where is it located? Okay? I'll show you where it is. Be right back, Richard. Stay in the fast. Richard, just stay here. Just stay here, okay? Everything can still be okay. You just have to stop running. Angela, I can't even trust people anymore. I can't even trust myself. So you don't trust me now? No, huh. no, nah, nah. Nothing like that. I trust you. You know that. Well, good. Because I'm the only person that you can trust, and you know I wouldn't tell you anything wrong. Turn myself in? Yeah. And you have to do it while you still have a chance. You know what they're going to do to me? Yes, not much. 
You don't want them to kill you, so don't make them. Richard, didn't you hear what Chief Fleming said? He said before you flew out. Yeah, I heard. I, I'm just not going. Listen to me, Richard. You don't even have a choice. What do you want to do? Keep running for the rest of your life? I've been doing that this whole time, haven't I? You know, I should have known better. I should have known better to think that I could get anything through your stupid head. I thought we were going to have a life together, Richard. What about that? You have to get some help, or our little girl and me are going to be gone. Wait, our girl? <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, that's right. We have a daughter, Richard. <laughs> that night that you and me slept together and Calvin was there, I got pregnant. Oh, wow. And that was three years ago. I couldn't even find you to tell you. And I've been dealing with this all by myself. Oh, wow. You got to think about somebody other than yourself, Richard. We have a daughter? Where's she at? She's at my mom's. Well, what's her name? Rachel. Rachel. How come you didn't tell me about her? You think I was going to tell you about our daughter with all the stuff that you were putting us through? All the stuff you were keeping up? <laughs> no. I wasn't going to do that. I have to protect her now. Yeah, you're right. Baby. Your Honor, I plead insanity. As you know, my mind was not in the right place when all the killings happened, and when my dad was sentenced to life, and my mom dying after, right after that moment. Son, son, life is about choices. Sometimes we just choose to take the wrong path. Given your mental situation, your mental status. I'm sentencing you to three years in a mental institution. Thank you. Hey, Richard, looks like you'll be getting out of here real soon, man. Why do you say that? Well, the way you handle going to these tests and everything, man, I think you'll be getting out real soon. Yeah, definitely. I feel like everybody's trying to help me out here. Thanks. Hey, no problem, man. So, Miss Angel, there's Richard. Oh, thank you, George. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Richard. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Awesome. Are you ready for your evaluation? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, have you had any bouts of sadness or depression lately? No. Nah. Okay. What about the dreams and the flashbacks? No, not really. Okay. And also your mood. I know that you were complaining about irritability, anger, any of that lately? No. Nah. And it looks like the journaling, the writing has been helping you. Yeah, definitely. A lot. Oh, good. So overall, are you okay, Richard? I would say so. Yeah, I'm great. Oh, good. Good. You know, Richard, I have been reviewing your records over the past year, and I have to say I'm very proud of you. Wait. 
Why are you proud of me for it? Well, when Dr. Neal talks to you, she'll explain everything. I'm going to take your results over to her now. Okay. So just stay here with George. George. so nervous about? Well, I'm not really nervous, but I feel like, you know, I've been here for a minute now, and I really feel better, you know? Well, yes, you have been making outstanding progress. That's what I'm here to talk to you about. I received your tests from my assistant, and I've looked them over, and I've come to say they look wonderful. Is it outstanding enough to, you know, get out of here? Yes, Richard, they're wonderful enough for you to go home. <laughs> Thank you so much. Richard, I am so proud of you. Just remember, you have to make sure you hold on to your dreams. Otherwise, they'll be destroyed. Now you have a second chance at life. Make the most of it. Definitely will. I can't wait to see my daughter, you know? to the world and so they can understand what I really went through, you know, like my post-traumatic stress and how I was like bipolar. That's a great but, idea. You know, I, I really feel like the world should know what I went through. Okay. Um, well, I got a friend that's, he owns a publishing company and I think we should go see him. Mommy you want to? Said we can't put our feet right now? on the couch. That's right. No feet. No. Hmm? no right feet. now? Let's go now. You're dressed? We can drop Rachel off at my sister's. All right. Let's go. Come on, we're going to go in here really quick. Rachel, you ready? Okay. All right, let's go. What's the X? Yeah, I hope this really looks good. Yeah. Come over here. Let's go over here. Come on, you scared me. Hey. Hi, how are you? Uh, good. Um, we're here to see Mr. Parker. Okay, can you have a seat for a minute? Let me see what's up. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Parker, Ms. Angela Dotson is here to see you. Okay, you sitting right in. Thank you. He's rude for you guys. You can go big now. Uh, okay. Here we go. Ladies first. Thank you. Here we are, Mr. Parker. Okay, y'all come right in. Hey, how you doing, Angela? Good. Good seeing you. You too. Wow. Okay. Hey. How you doing? Who's this you got with this you? This is Richard. Richard, this is my friend I was talking about. Oh, okay. Nice Mr. to meet you, Richard. Okay, y'all have a seat. Uh, Thank like you. Like something to drink? Anything? No, no thanks. No. Okay, you say you have a story for me. Actually, he has a story. Okay. So, so what do you have for me, Richard? Well, as you know, the whole world knows what I've been through. And I've actually been writing the story of my life. I want you to take a look at it. Okay, I can do that. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm write some numbers down here, and you tell me what you think about it. Um, do you know what these numbers represent? All those numbers represent the advances that I'm gonna give you. Thirty thousand dollars. I can add another thousand to if you want me to. This is great, but if you could give me five more thousand... Hey, say no more. There you go, Mr. Wells. 
Okay, start at 5,000 for advancement for your book. Thank you so much, Mr. You're welcome. Thank you. You're Thank welcome, man. Thanks for bringing me a great story. Thank you. This All right. Thank you. And what I'll do is in seven days, uh, you come back, you have an attorney. Mm -hmm. I have okay, an attorney. Okay, come back with your attorney, and we'll have your book published on, on the shelves in no time, okay? All right? Yes, thank you again. Okay, congratulations again. And thank, oh, you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh, Richard, I have one more question. Yeah. I read your manuscript, and uh, tell me, why didn't you finish your story? Well, it goes like this, right? That was before. But now, I feel like now that I have my wife with me, I have a little kid growing, a little girl. And, you know, I'm just ready to start over. I, I'm about to have this book published. Yeah. Just because you get... I don't know, I'm just really thankful. And it's crazy because I told myself after that night of the murder, there wouldn't be any more quiet nights. But I guess that thing changed. Things changed. And I'm finally free. Okay. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. Wells, right. What's up with all the questions, lady? Well, now look at here, you little lady. You wasn't round here when this happened. So Man. how it... He said, come away from round here and talk to that young lady it. like this. I don't even know what you can't get away from round here.